That don't sound good. We've got nothing coming out either. Well, let's take it apart and find the claw. Okay guys, we had a problem similar to, similar to this before. It was leaking. Now, I think it's just clogged. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing apart and up under here there's a screw there, there's one there, and there's one down in there. Now, yours may differ. Got to get a smaller screwdriver. But, it's all pretty much the same. We got to get this bottom off of here. Oh, that's one of those three. Huh. Those three prongs. Yeah, it's not a regular Phillips. So let me get another screwdriver. And uh, try something different. We'll try one of these little screwdrivers. That may be how I took it out of there before. Okay. So this is going to work. Must have been what I did before because I darn sure don't have one of these things. They just don't want you taking these things apart. Okay, it's understandable, but guys like me, we can do this stuff. And it won't be an issue. But it's like everything anymore, you know, it's like they don't want you doing nothing. Well, they don't want to get sued and all this. Well, you know, I kind of think it's stupid if you burn your damn house down because you fucked up. Why are you going to sue these guys because they didn't put these security screws in to keep you from taking it apart? You know what I mean? But, okay, so now let's try to get... got these little tabs in here bend them back just like that these coffee machines they get okay they get dirty look at this crazy huh they get dirty and I think the clog is right in here somewhere might be in that tube if you guys remember the last time this this tube something happened in this tube blew off but I think there's a clog in here because down inside here I've seen it coming up but it wasn't coming up through this tube now this tube could be bad could be clogged too so we're going to take this top off by gently pulling that out just like that and there's a regular Phillips screw right here so they let you take this one off okay now it's kind of clipped down in there see that right in there you gotta kinda bend it back 
Okay. Now let's see if we can blow through this one. Yes, yeah, so this one's not clogged. And I don't see a clog in that one, which is this side here. So what we're going to do is down inside of here. See, there's a clip right down in there. Can you see that? That silver clip? I'm going to take that clip off. I'm going to pull that hose off and try to blow up through that. And see where the see if it's clogged or if there's another issue. I'm guessing it it's clogged, but we're soon gonna find out. But usually these hoses they'll get all brittle, and once they break, you're pretty much done. Okay, so now we're gonna blow through this hose right here, okay, and see if. Uh, Because this is where it comes up through. Yeah, it's clogged up tight, guys. So, let's go ahead. We're going to take this clamp off. And we're going to get this hose off of here. like that see there's a hole in there see it looks like a star all right I don't need to worry about this one now what I'm going to try to do well I'm not going to be able to these are soldered on I'll, I'd like to take this clear out of here but I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to let me grab a piece of wire and let's jam a piece of wire up through here and see if we can't get that cleaned out. Okay guys, what I've got here is a piece of mechanics wire. It's pretty thin. You can maybe try to use a coat hanger, but I just I think it's too strong to bend around there. So we're gonna stick this in here. And see how that that will kind of bend around there a little bit. so the clog must be right here it's only going to that bend so hopefully that's not rusting through although it wasn't leaking so it seems to be going a little farther now what I'm going to do I'm going to try to blow through that with some compressed air and I'm going to try to blow it back through because the water comes in this one and then comes out there so I'm going to try to blow blow it back through that way see if we can get it to blow back out Yeah, see that? Yeah, blew a bunch of stuff out of there. Rusting, rusty stuff. So, let's stick our wire up in there some more. Let's do that again. 
see what we can get out of it watch right there at that silver one okay nothing's coming out so let's try to blow it back through this way now this time watch this end here Still seems to have a little claw. I can feel it blowing through. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this stuff up. Okay? And course clean the lid and I'm going to keep cleaning this out some and then I shall be back with you momentarily so hang tight Let's try it out. I hear something. Oh, I think it's doing something. There it goes. Look at that. I know this is kind of dirty. I should have cleaned that, but yeah, it's putting water in it now. Now oh, you can't see inside there. It's steaming up too bad. But you see in there, see all that dirt? So you're gonna to want to run it run it a couple times, run it through there. So that way it can get itself cleaned out. Now what I recommend if you got hard water once a week, maybe twice a month, run you some vinegar through that thing, man, and let it run a couple times to keep that cleaned out. And she doesn't do it, and I should do it for um but, you know, if you don't have hard water, you know, maybe once every six months, just to keep it cleaned out, run some vinegar through there. Um, but, oh, yeah, it's, it's filling up now pretty good. It's on the inside. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump that water out. And I'm going to run some vinegar through there. See it? Yeah, you can see it coming down in there now. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Running in there pretty good. Now, that's not coffee. I just got some tea in there. I'll show you. <laughs> Doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> all right guys so there you get this is what we're having for supper all right guys that's how you fix your coffee pot if that don't work buy a new one they're what 20 bucks maybe 15 something like that. I think we gave 15 10 or 15 for that one so you know it's no big deal if it don't work hell give it a shot right in this case it did work so I want to thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Y'all take care. Bye-bye, guys.